Hello there, I'm Colonel Failure and this is City Skylines. Uh, as you can see, there is a, a long, long queue of vehicles waiting to get into my glorious city. Many of these vehicles are advertising hot dogs, or bug spray, or donuts. They are thrilled to be a part of the burgeoning city of the woods. Which is a rubbish name, when I come to think of it. Um, okay, look, and, you know, what's going on? So, uh, the... Uh, the traffic situation is going to get worse. I, that's, you know, a near certainty. But my, you know, my eventual plan is to bulldoze all of this lot and uh, and turn it into something uh, slightly more organised. Not least of all, this road area here, I, I want to turn into... Uh, I don't know, I'll probably do something clever with it. But not until I've made a whole lot more money. At, at, at least not until I've unlocked a whole bunch more stuff. So, uh, what have we got happening at the moment? What's going on here? Garbage is piled up there. Oh, what's, your, what's your problem? What's your problem with that? I've got garbage trucks running. In fact, garbage is piled up in a couple of places. Where's my uh, tip? There we go. Landfill site. Garbage trucks. Ah, 17 of 17. We, we possibly ought to get another one of those running before too long. But right now, our primary demand is for commercial. We don't have all the money in the world, but we have, you know, we have some cash. More rubbish building up. Okay, have I got a suitable kind of shanty town area on which I can build another tip? Uh, where are we? Another landfill site. We could, we could bang it there. It's four grand, but, you know, it'll keep people, it'll keep people happy. Oh, I don't care about you people. Well, uh, what are you? Your factories aren't you. Why the hell should you care? Uh, what have we got? Oh, they're, they're shops. And they're not overly thrilled about being right next to the landfill site. Well, you know, they'll get over it. I'm certain of it. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's get a commercial area up. Since, uh, since that's relatively painless. Uh, now, this is the school... Uh, always worth putting an off-license next to the school. Actually, that's that's quite a bit more than I'd, uh, I'd, in, I'd intended to do there. Let's de-zone this bit. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, you can build whatever you like. We want a, we want an off-license, uh, we want a gun shop, uh, and a tobacconist right next to the high school. Um, yeah. Oh, this is on fire. Any sign of the uh, fire brigade? Anywhere? Anywhere? Here they come, look, two of them. It's my efficient, uh, efficient, bravest folk of the woods. Try and get to it before it burns down. Good job, lads. Uh, all right, so, smashing. Right, I, what I'm aiming to do is get to five and a half thousand civilians, citizens, I guess. Um, because at that point we hit the next milestone. We're probably going to need some more power before then. Um... Uh, there is a demand for commercial, and I'm going to do a little bit more of that. So I'm just going to bang up a quick... What's this button do? Ah, large billboard. Yes, okay. So, I do, yeah, I'm working uh, uh, while you're uh, elsewhere, otherwise occupied. I'm, uh, I'm working on building some billboards of my own. Now, unlike most other games where you can, uh, you can create a texture and just slap it on something that exists already... I mean, Skylines is interesting because it, it comes with uh, some some pretty fun tools uh, for uh, uh, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to muck around some one-way streets. Um, some pretty fun tools for, for for kind of remixing content that exists already, but you can't put your own uh, your own graphics over the top of that, uh, which is kind of that's, I mean, that's 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 my thing. Um, so I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm teaching myself some 3D software in the hope of actually making that happen. And if that does happen, I will uh, I will share the results with you. I'll even I'll even put it out for download. So uh, so stay tuned for that. Nothing yet, but it will be coming in the future. Right there we go. Let's get all of this. No 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 no. Just like that. Right. So we've basically zigzagged these. We've got down and then we got up and then we got down and then we got up. Is that going to have uh, a, a superb effect on the traffic in the area? Well, it's not going to have any effect at all until I actually, uh, you know, build the area in such a way that it has some traffic to play with. Let's put a commercial area in here. 
and another one on the other side of the street. This wonky build that I've got going on here, I'm not sure if that's going to pay off in any fashion at all, but uh, we've got it up anyway. I'm hoping I don't have to pay for too many kind of expensive services before we hit our next upgrade point. I will roll with those punches if they come in, but, uh, you know, that's uh, that's not the cheapest uh, thing to, to have set up. You know, whether we're talking about water or power or yet more waste disposal. Good. Well, look, Heather, if you're not, you know, if you're not prepared to put up with the no pets rule, then maybe the banker's weekend retreat is not for you. Uh, if you missed the Bankers Weekend Retreat uh, episode, that's one of our districts. Let's call up the district map here. So, uh, one of our districts. It's the only district we've named so far. And basically, it's this high-value, gorgeous uh, waterfront property where the fire brigade take a really long time to get there. Uh, in fact, I might expand it a little bit more since we've expanded our waterfront area. Hope you people don't have pets. Otherwise, no, 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 not Park Hills. No, that's all part of this. There we go. See? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, right, look. If I do this, right, it automatically creates a new, uh, a new district in that area. But if I then expand into it like this, I can, I can assimilate it into uh, Banker's Weekend Retreat. You know what? I'm going to have this side of the road as well. Yeah, sucks to be you. There we go. There we go. That's going to upset people. And once I can independently set the tax rate for those guys, I'm gonna. Yep, these shops. No pets for you either. Another house on fire here. Fire department. Come on. Trot on. Um, I wonder what our fire coverage is like. Can anyone remember where I put the fire station? It's going to be if I maybe if I hit the fire department button. That looks pretty pretty clear, doesn't it? Firehouse uh, fire engine use three of six. It's fine, fine. I mean, okay, yeah, it is. It is a bit of a drive to to get all the way up here and and put this fire out before this thing burns to the ground. Any sign of the fire department? Any sign at all? What are you? You're not a fire engine. No, you're a sub. Uh, there we go. Grand. Put it out. Don't let it burn down. That would be a bad thing. What's going on here? Oh, m &H clothing. We looked at this last time around and it appears to have been abandoned. Alright. Bulldoze it. There you go. Uh, that, that is a bit of a weakness in the game. Is uh, You have to... What's, what's that? Why do you apparently need a petrol can? Not enough fuel. Well, that's... The th I don't make coal. How is this my problem? That's very strange. I, if I could make coal, I'd, I'd be all over that. So it's a cemetery. You know what a cemetery needs next to it? You know what it needs? Factories. Jimmy worked his entire life in a factory. It seems ironic that he's being buried right next to one. And gift shops. Gift shops next to the cemetery as well. Yep. There we go. Never, never... What? What's this green button mean? Not enough customers. Well, you know, people will come once the, uh, once the cemetery starts doing its thing. Maybe I should build another bus lane. Uh, let's have a look at the existing bus lanes we've got. I mean, come on, they, they come fairly close to where you are your businesses, my friend. I mean, you know, don't don't complain about that too much. And there's the bus station. In fact, you've got one go straight past your door. They'll see your Big Bite Burger, or is it a Big Bite? Yeah, yeah, Big Bite Burger Shack, and, and kind of go, oh yeah, I'm all about that. Here you go, look, I built some factories just over the road. People will come and see you for lunch. Alright, Magic, how's the, uh, how's the traffic trauma doing? Flowing smoothly. 
Excellent. Right, look, I've got 30 grand in the bank. We're 600 away from our next growth point, so uh, let's stop aimlessly wittering on. And, uh, and, and let's build. Now these these uh, these two lane uh, efforts here the the weakness as has been pointed out to me by one of the many expert commenters that I attract on this channel uh, is that uh, they when when you uh, junction them up you end up with uh, with traffic lights a plenty now traffic lights in in and of themselves are, aren't a problem you know it helps you uh, keep your traffic managed but if you're having to go uh, well, you know, if you're you're going effectively a tiddly little block like this, and then hitting another set of traffic lights, that's not conducive for keeping your uh, your traffic moving smoothly. Apparently, this is paradise on earth. I'm I'm not working hard enough. I'm trying to make this into some kind of hell hole. Uh, so yeah, so I am going to try and mix it up a little bit more with roads. But as I keep saying, and as I will continue to say. Uh, this is just a, a first, uh, you know, this is a, an establishing, uh, establishing build we've got going on here. Get a bit of cash in the bank, get a few people in the city. There we go, All right, how about that? That's going to fox them. Right, and then we'll come this way. Uh, after which, we'll uh, we'll do something that's that actually has a, uh, a plan beside it. I know, most of my... Uh, let us play videos uh, don't operate with any kind of a formal plan other than to just continue let us playing uh, and uh, to be honest I could easily do that with this game as well but I'm not going to I'm gonna do something that's actually uh, actually got a purpose to it of some description exactly what I'm still forming ideas uh, so we'll uh, we'll see how that ends up when uh, when we get to it. Uh, right, I possibly ought to put some water piping in there. How far have we actually gone? We've gone all the way to the to the riverbank. That's good. Uh, let's drag you down here. No, no, no. You're too you're too close to your neighbour. If I do that, let's go as far as let's go as far as there. So, as I mentioned before, when piping, you want a little bit of overlap, but not too much, because you're just, you're, you're wasting uh, cash, basically. Uh, there we go, that's, that lot's done. Um, and, and, and a little bit of overlap purely, so that you have options with regards to, uh, to where you... Uh, where you expand. How's that? Well, that's the road not piped. We can, we can cope with that. Might mean that it's subject to flooding when the weather changes. But uh, we'll worry about that when the weather changes. Because so far, I'm not feeling that it will. No, you're doing that just for convenience. You haven't planned this out. You know what I'm going to do when we move to our next, our next island? I'll show you exactly how I used to do it on SimCity. Uh, in order to uh, create a, a relatively efficient uh, grid-like water network from the outset. Yes, it's, uh, it is a slightly expensive way to kick off at the beginning, but, uh, but the upshot is that, uh, that your water is then done. No more water concerns for the rest of that, uh, that area. And, oh, and I always connect at both ends. Just in case there's a break in the pipe somewhere, not that uh, I don't, you know, not that I've got any particular insight into whether that's going to happen in this game or not. But there you go. Right, water availability plenty, water treatment not terrific. Okay, well, we'll uh, we'll concern ourselves with that shortly. Where are we up to? Four thousand two hundred citizens now. Well done, my peoples. There's a new piece of land available for purchase. I'm not finished with this piece of land yet. Let's, uh, let's make ourselves a, a slightly uh, slightly windy road here. There we go. 
That's nice. No, I'm done with you. Um, okay, and then we'll just bash some more out here. Actually, I didn't want that brush this time around. I haven't completely got to grips with the freehand brush yet. Uh, the, the freehand kind of road tool. Sure, why not? Um, but, you know, at first glance, I'm pretty pleased with it. There we go. That's more utility space, that is. Are you, uh, are you watered? And you're watered. This is all good. Actually, we can probably reduce some of this power stuff as well we've got going on here. Since all of this area is now connected, which probably you should be fine. I better not just cut the town off because that's going to make for some unhappy campers. No, that's fine. We've got sewerage problems. Okay. And we've got power problems. Really? I shouldn't have power problems. I just built a new power plant. We're producing 114 and... Uh, oh no, no, we're consuming 130. Has my coal plant actually run out of coal? Alright, okay. Here we go. Let's... Uh, bash in another one of these. Actually, let's bash in another two of those. It uses up a load of money, but that will uh, that will keep us uh, powered, at least. And hopefully this sewerage problem we've got going on here will have been down to uh, these chaps not quite having enough uh, power to run effectively. Our survey says, yes, our survey says that's fine. Okay, everybody we fix everybody's fixed by the time I looked. So much the better. And we've got an empty building here. No, I guess the uh, the big bike burger establishment has uh, gone bankrupt. Well, make better burgers. That's all I can say to that. Market forces, that's what that was. Uh, what's going on over here? Drugstore 2.0. Also abandoned. Well, you know on that. Now, in SimCity 4, if you haven't played it, uh, if you were to... Uh, we don't need this power at all. Possibly to look at the network just to make sure. I'm pretty confident. Yeah, everybody's connected. It's all good. Right. Yeah. And hopefully that will mean that this costs a little bit less to maintain. I don't get me wrong, I don't imagine a, a power line costs uh, a huge amount of money, eh? There we go. What was I saying? Yeah, SimCity. Yeah, alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. If a banner becomes, uh, uh, if a building becomes abandoned in SimCity, I'm sure all of you know the answer to this already, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, uh, it simply became a greater fire hazard. So the... the Chances are it would uh, it would catch fire more readily, but you didn't have to bulldoze the thing. You, I mean, you could do, which would prevent it being a fire hazard. But after uh, after a little while, it would uh, it would sort itself out. Come on, we're very close now to the five thousand five hundred mark. What more do you need? You need more commercial opportunities. Can do. There we go. I'm even putting them, you know, relatively close to the housing. How do you feel about that? Have we got any horrific traffic other than the people trying to come in in the first place? Which is being caused by all of this. I think if the uh, if the payoff that uh, that we get for the uh, the next milestone is uh, thirty thousand or so. I think we'll we'll redevelop this area to try and make it nice and smooth for people coming in. Here we go. We're now a big town. And I'm the big chief in the big town. Uh, I can purchase a new piece of land. That's nice. I can set taxation policies. Oh, Banker's Weekend Retreat. I've got bad news for you. Uh, what do we got? Uh, a metro. Fun. High density. Oh, super fun. I'm all about this. Incineration plant. Yes. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, lots of fun stuff. All right, okay. I'm not going to do it now, though. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to think this through a little. Right, what have we got going on here? What are you? You're the bus depot, aren't you? Okay, right. First things first. Let's, uh, let's enact our new policy on uh, Banker's Weekend Retreat. Here we go. Pet ban taxation. Uh, tax raise. Increase the tax rate. Oh, yeah. Yep, there we go. Yeah, you want to live at the Bankers Weekend Retreat, right by the lovely, lovely river and the sewage outlet pipes? It's going to cost you. Smashing. Oh, I did make 30,000. Okay, right. So, what's the best thing to do? Obviously, some demolitions going on here. Let's have a look at the uh, the basic road options. You've got a uh, large roundabout and mm, small roundabout. Okay, so that is not a small. That, oh, that's a large roundabout. It, it, that's not a small roundabout. That's a big roundabout. So what we'd be looking at is doing it there, and as a result, bulldozing a lot of fine, fine, upstanding people and their businesses. I guess it's just going to have to be right. Uh, give me some pause here. No, 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 not go faster, go slower. Go, in fact, stopped. Right. Let's, uh, let's, let's get to the shredding. There's nothing here of much importance other than the fact that we're making money. Right. Do, do, these guys are doing some kind of off-road demolition derby kind of a deal. Uh, there, that's where I want you. What do I need to remove? No. He's down there, Tiger. There we go. You can stick it here. Then do so. All right. Now, this is still going to create something of a, a bottleneck there because uh, I think that's two lanes of traffic merging into one. However... Uh, if you're still, if you're watching this, you're probably going, "What the hell are you thinking?" Trust me, I know a thing or two. It's going to work. This is this is definitely going to work. Yep, that's going to that's going to create some mayhem. But if they're going the correct way around the roundabout, which they should be, because I told the game to make it go the correct way, uh, then uh, that'll be, that'll be famous. Oh, I like that. That's nice. You can actually adjust the roundabout as well in terms of where you actually want stuff coming off. Which is actually kind of cool. Whoop, didn't mean to put you out of business. Sorry, Mush. Uh, let's, uh, let's give you some give you some zoned back. There you go. You can, you can zone all the way over here to your heart's content. Not in the middle. No, I'm going to put something beautiful in the middle. Like a factory. There we go. Yeah, terrific. Yeah, yeah, right. Splendid. Right, and then we'll bash that through there. Go on, connect up. No? Okay, we're going to have to, because at the moment that's not quite worked out. It will do. And there we go. All right, nice. Where were you connecting to before? I don't know, but you're about to connect to a roundabout. Given half a chance. There we go. Alright. I'm not entirely convinced that's going to be beneficial for traffic, if I'm honest. But you know what? It's going to be fun to watch. Ah, oh, where's this going? That's no longer going anywhere. So let's get rid of that bit. Means people are going to funnel around here and now onto here, all the way around here, past all of these many, many junctions. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Should we put another one on there? And what have we got? Why have we got pedestrian crossings here all over the place? No, no, you, you don't let pedestrians cross over a roundabout. That's, you know, 
somewhat suicidal. That's, that's an ugly bit of construction we've got there. Excellent. All right, hit the play button. How are we doing? Let's see uh, see if they manage to get a grip on this. All right, okay, so far so good. Well, it's alleviating some of the incoming traffic, but they're all stopping at these pedestrian crossings, which shouldn't be a thing. And why is that bus stopped? Why have you stopped, bus? Um, who exactly are you giving way to? You give way to traffic that's already on the roundabout, right? Traffic on the roundabout doesn't give way for nothing. It is a little stop-starty, isn't it? And what's going... What? 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 What are you... What are you waiting for? I am just a little bit little perplexed by this. Let's make it make it a cut through the middle kind of a roundabout. Is that gonna help anybody? No, that's gonna make a mess. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to do some some clever roadworks, but I think we'll wait until we've uh, we've hit island two for that. Meanwhile, we'll turn off the grid because the grid looks a bit horrible there, given that I've basically just mashed a roundabout into it. Now, maybe a large roundabout would have helped. How's our queue? Rather like the M4. Okay, splendid. Um, okay, I think that will wrap it up for this time. Um, this hasn't really worked, has it? Largely because people are stopping for no reason. Why, why are you stopping? Or rather, why have you stopped? Who are we waiting for? Because you seem to think you're gridlocked, and yet, everyone can go. Interesting. Y yes. What's going on here? People don't understand how roundabouts work. I understand this about France, actually. Um, so apparently in France, uh, not least of all on the Champs-Élysées, um, uh, yeah, apparently you can, um, oh no, it's going round the Arc de Triomphe. You can, um, the, the right of way is for the traffic that's entering the roundabout, rather than the traffic that's already on it. The upshot is, of course, that you end up just absolutely rammed traffic stopped. You've got, traffic on the roundabout, you've got to clear off in order to get new stuff on. That's the only way it works. So you only get to come on when your ex, when your entrance is clear. And so I don't see who's actually jamming this up. I really honestly don't see where, why people aren't going. Yeah, you see, you shouldn't be letting him out. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, a bit of charitable driving is fine, but stop it. It is not helping this traffic situation. All right, I'm going to have to do something more with that, but I'll do that when I redevelop this area. Thanks very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failing. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. You know I appreciate it, and you know I think warm thoughts towards you all. Uh, thanks very much, and, uh, and I'll catch up with you next time. Cheerio.